I'm sure many of us worked in support at some point. You go through a couple of weeks of training, there's some shadowing, and then you go live. Copilot has totally changed that for us. You've been focused quite a bit uh, over the last while on driving an AI-first strategy. And what impact has that had for Lightspeed? It really has changed what we've been focusing on, as you say, for the last nearly 18 months now. If we look at uh, AI Agent, for example, we have a 99% involvement rate. So we've really put Finn at the forefront of all of our conversations. And from there, we also have 95% of those with an answer, which is incredibly validating for our hardworking content teams. They spend a lot of time writing articles and guides. So the fact that Finn is confidently able to supply answers means that we're seeing the strength in that content. So having that answer rate is really important. And the net result of that is a deflection rate or a, uh, I prefer, a resolution rate of anywhere between 45 to 65%, depending on which of the Lightspeed products that we're referring to. And that has a very material impact on our operational volume and uh, is very beneficial to us. But if we pivot to Copilot, um, we then get some more internal operational benefits. Copilot has really augmented our whole training strategy. I'm sure many of us worked in support at some point. You go through a couple of weeks of training, there's some shadowing, and then you go live. Copilot has totally changed that for us. Shadowing still exists, but the person that you go to to ask for help can now be Finn. It's very real-time and you're not hunting for the right Slack channel. Um, so that's really helped change our team members' efficiency. Because team members can get those answers quicker, we're seeing a reduction in our handling rates as well. So it's been very uh, beneficial all around. 